Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we'll be looking into the filtering function in SQL Accounting. So this function is extremely useful if you actually have a number of salespeople and then you would not want them to see every single invoice in your system. So to do this, let's go to customer first, customer invoice. So from here, you can actually see that there are 67 invoices with every single salesperson inside here. Alright, so you can see S, Y, L, F, N, S, L. Okay, so let's say we would like to filter it to based on say example NF, okay, by this sales agent. So to do this, what we need to do is we come here to tools here. We come to maintain form mode. Alright, so let's say we want to create a new form mode. So let's say example D is a uh, customer invoice NF. Alright, so from here, we first need to select which form that we are going to customize this on so let's say example i want to type it for customer invoice so we can actually put it here so if you look at the screen we can actually customize this for a number of screens and uh reports all right so example like if you are maintaining customer you only want to see nf can only see nf customers so you can actually use uh maintain customer so but for today's example we're using customer invoice so here what happened is we had the filter text here so to do this we need to press customize filter so we press uh, filter and then we add the button. So from here, the system will then tell you which do you want to customize or which you want to filter for. <clears throat> so let's say example today, I want to filter by sales agent. So I put IV agent and I put is light and I put here the name NF. All right, so press OK. And then once you're done, we just press save. All right, so close. And now let's say we log on back again. Then come to customer, then we come to invoice. So now you can see, you only can see NF invoice, you cannot see any other invoice. All right. So this is how the system can filter for you and it can be done in every single screen in SQL accounting. All right. So that's it for today. Do let us know if you have any guide you would like us to cover in the comments below. Thank you.